I can't sell these. These are illegal to sell. They're not there as a charitable cause to the people because these guys don't smoke crack. Welcome back to the channel. Today is the end of an era. <laughs> I'm getting quite a bit of stock in at the moment and stock is way more important than having a pretty backdrop for YouTube. So the backdrop has to go and I need to fill that space with another shelf. Last night I went onto Halford's website and pre-ordered one and it's ready for me to go and collect. So I need to go and pick that up now. I am currently dying. Ugh. Well, that's the shelf picked up. While I'm in town, I think it would be very unresourceful of me not to go around the charity shops that are local. I say local, they're still spread around, but I'm down here, haven't been in this part of town for months. So I might as well go and have a look. See if anything's changed. I doubt it. Thank you. No drama. It's got my hairline. Some things obviously never change. Let's go try this one out. Same story there, absolute joke. Haven't been charity shopping like that for a very long time. Uh, I've had another four to do. I'm now I'm here for the banter. <laughs> but I really want to be able to put my hand in my pocket and grab some up. But it's just insane. See that thing's still there. Still there, 60 pound. 60 pound, not tested as found. Still there, when was that here last? Six months ago? Smoking weed. I don't think you should be in there, should you? <laughs> the bill. Oh, I'm honestly trying so hard to just buy something. Not only are things priced high now, it's all full of junk. There's nothing of any decency in there anymore, in any of them. It's not gonna be like that all over the place, of course. The majority of the single owned places without big corporation businesses like St. Michael's, Bernardo's, British Heart Foundation, etc. The majority of like the mum and pap ones, as the Americans say, normally all right. Even they get a bit crazy though, but we're about to head to one now that I haven't been to for a very long time, and it used to be. An old favourite of mine. Oh, for a second I thought it was shut down. It's just letting us know the shutter's broken. Hello, stranger. Hello, Hello, mates. Been a while. Normal pricing. Normal. George Asda, 275. Normal. Let's 
cool. It's very IKEA-ish. Oh, Yankee candles at burner. My name was mentioned on Friday. It was. Good news or bad news? No, I think it was a lady that you know or knows you. What's her name? Uh, oh, name's terrible. Yeah, Leanne, yeah, yeah. Leanne. No, she's, she's honestly, she's lovely. She's so sweet. Very helpful. She loves coming in here. Pre-printed labels for us. I had that t-shirt years ago. Oh my God. You've got Paul Ricky. Yeah, it's not, it's nothing, it's nothing yeah, serious, so, yeah, cool. so the ladies at Aladdin's Cave are singing Leanne's praises because she's made all these lovely little labels for them. Um, you know, shoe sure sizes, well. different bits there, well, stuff like these cards. Oh, well, lovely. She's a lovely lady. She's a good egg, isn't she? Is that in there? Oh, yeah. Pretty. That's lovely, that is. How much is that? Two and a half. Look. Oh, so you can just peel them off and, and stick them on. And the bigger and the clearer. Oh, look at them. Cool, aren't they? She's very good. No. Are they? They are. They're lawn darts. Illegal to sell, I think. Oh, I'll have to get them regardless. I don't know if it's because they're, point they're not pointed. They might be okay. I'm getting them. I wouldn't normally bother, but the fact I've got some stuff to pick up already means I'm going to do like a bundle deal. It's all going to cost me what it's going to cost me on the label, but I'm buying it as a whole. Items work out cheaper. Does that make sense? So if I spend 10 quid on 10 items, it's 10 pound, it's one pound an item. Doesn't matter if one item's two, one item's five, one item's one, one item's 50p. I get that, but I don't know if missing his hat's going to be a problem. Is he missing his head? I don't know. Looks like Batman should have some on top, but who knows? I have to Google image yet in case it's a rare one. Looks like an impersonator. Yeah, nah, not worth it. He's missing his hat. Some of these are probably worth some money, but I can't be asked to sit and Google lens them all. That's nice. It's that schleck. Always good to look in these boxes in case there's any vintage headphones, mainly the Sony ones. Of course. I'm going to leave that, but somebody else can enjoy it. Why do I think that's a good brand? No, it's not. If I found those vintage Arsenal ones in there. A nice floor find. I'm not going to bother, but look at the price difference in a proper charity shop, look. That'll be £15 in St Michael's minimum. That's cool. Somebody else can have them there. I'll leave it for somebody else. Why do I think these are good? I've seen these before somewhere. Yes. I think I might get these. Is it 9 95 for the pair, is it? Yeah. I could be. Any damages on these that you know of? No. Can't see any. I think I'm going to get them. They're pretty. There's one. There's two. See, this is why I say I'm done, but I'm not done. Because I will cash out immediately as soon as somebody turns up. Okay. I have to keep looking. Yeah, I know, me. you always miss that. You should go around three times at least. Yeah, that, that, that's me done then. You sure? Yeah. Do you have a bag of talk and get? If not, it's fine. I can, take, take I, can, I can juggle it out. Yeah, stick 50p on top as well. Okay. Stick 50 on. Oh, that's that well. Yeah, it's 24 pounds 50. I'll go for a second. There you go. Thank you so much. That's fine. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Just round it to 25, it's fine. Sure? Yeah, yeah. Always a pleasure, thank you. Thank you. Where's it? Where's she going? Is she here? There. Up oh, there. Is he out the back there somewhere? Is this going to be for sale? It is. Oh, Do you want how much? Let me go find out. Yeah, find out. That was I'm, my job. I'm going to leave. I might save you a job. <laughs> I've just got a I'm just about to leave. I've come to you say goodbye to everybody. And then I, and then I, I'll take it. Save you a job, won't it? You are an absolute dime. <laughs> you can just take a five for it, it's fine. Let me just write this. 
It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Absolutely. No, that's fine. That's fine. Thank you so much. Good to see you. Bye. Bye, darling. Thank you. Bye. Yep. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Let's have it. Say anchor. I'm watching a minute. Sorry, Ricky. It's okay. You can't touch me. Oh, I almost got. Oh, yeah, that's the cribbage bit. Thank yeah. you so much. Bye. Bye. Okay. Bye. Stark contrast between a decent mum and pap owned charity shop. Independent owned, that's better. Independent charity shop compared to these ones that are out for big business. What those big business ones don't understand is if they treated them the same way that these guys all treat theirs with a get it in, get it out mentality, their turnover would be a lot, a lot higher. Because these guys don't smoke crack. So I spent 30 pound in there. I let them keep the change on a few things because I'm appreciative. And also they're doing a good job. They're running things the way they're supposed to. Good stuff in there and good priced stuff in there. As opposed to a load of shit and shit prices. They need to learn. These big people who are paying off all their CEOs hundreds of grand a year, get a grip. Uh, we are moving. That is a shame, that is a shame. Hopefully they'll do better there. Quick little trip to the hospital. Ah, sick. I obviously wasn't in there long enough to incur a charge, which is strange for a Tory government. Basically, my dentist wants me to have my wisdom teeth out, so I'm booking into the orthodontist. Munch secured. Cheese, honey mustard, toasty, pumpkin spice latte, and a chocolate eclair. Mm. We are back home now, so I'm going to go into the Old Faithful. This is one of those big corporations that strangely do adopt a... Uh, sorry, I'm trying not to get one over them. They do actually adopt a fair pricing or pricing to sell kind of strategy compared to all the other St. Michaels around here. Let's go and have a look. Good morning. Oh, here he is. Here he is. Busy morning. Busy morning. Bit battered. Over 18 only. Never heard of that brand before. Let's look it up. I'm going to get them. Never heard of it before, but it's a 30 year anniversary thing. It's got Coca Cola on it and it's an American restaurant, so it's got to be summer. All we got from there was that little Coke thing, but that's okay, that's okay. The main objective today was to go and pick up that shelving unit. I was never planning to go charity shopping, but I'm glad I did so I could see the state of it. And I'm home. What a trip, what an experience. I've not been on the charity shop rounds for the best part of six months now, I should imagine, five months, I'm not too sure. But it's been a long time. When I was out there before, the prices were getting ridiculous anyway. And today, <laughs> uh, prices are mad. The people who run these charity shops are smoking crack, surely. I don't just mean the volunteers, I mean the people in management and senior. There's going to be people who watch this video who say, well, charity shops are not there in order to feed your business. No, you're right, they're not. That's not what they're there for. They're there to feed their own business because that is what they are now. Charity shops are a business, corporation. They have CEOs, managing directors that are on hundreds of thousands of pounds a year, bonuses and salary. There used to be a time in life where you could walk into a charity shop and if you was on your ass and building yourself back up and you needed a shirt for a job interview and you had no money, you could walk into a charity shop and almost guarantee that you're gonna walk out of there with a shirt and probably a jacket to wear as well. The same as if you were homeless and you really needed a coat while the winter months pulled in, you could walk into a charity shop and you could almost guarantee you'd walk out with a coat, maybe a pair of socks and a jumper. You try and do that now. They won't bother. They're not there as a charitable cause to the people. They're there as a charitable cause, which is some charity that they've got somewhere else, nothing to do with the shop. The shop is just a fund raiser, a revenue bringer to then ship off to the people above. They can all take their cuts and what's left might go to the British Heart Foundation or Salvation Army or, or Great Auburn Street, whatever, you know, a little slice. You spend a pound in that shop, 5p just about might make it to somebody who needs it. 
my it's not about that anymore there is a few shops that still do that aladdin's cave that was in just a moment ago are a good example to be fair i've been in there when people have walked in and they needed a jacket or needed something and they've gone take it it's yours because it's charity we're offering you the charitable service so anybody that's watching this video and is about to jump in my comments and start talking about how they're not there to feed retailers i know and i'm ready for you dive in anyway let's take a look and see what i did manage to pick up all from that one shop minus those coke cans at the end we have a backgammon board i saw this as I, as I was saying goodbye i saw i'm sorting through this i said how much is that two pounds fifty beautiful bargain saved over a job as well we've got chess dominoes drafts and bridge i'm not too sure but they look like my young dice to me estimation on that 30 to 40 pound it's in a really nice condition case really heavy duty yeah i'll always pick up backgammon cases wherever i can especially these multi-game ones mini carpet bowls three pounds 50 it's a fair price these will sell for between 15 and 20 and with this time of year when people are staying inside and playing games in the house these will fly out can't remember his name i did just google him it's, there'll be a screenshot up here as always 30p 30p for a plush hey eh? proper pricing i thought it'd be worth a little bit more than he is but he's not i reckon estimation about 10 to 12 back on that he's not going to be boxing anytime soon is he <laughs> big fat chunky sanyo stereo walkman two pounds paid i'll always take a risk for two pound seems to be in okay condition apart from some old batches that have been left in there a little bit of leakage however spares or repairs will get 10 12 good back on that working condition 29.99 give or take i had to pick this up disney gnome factory some of you might remember i've done very well on gnomes before that star trek bundle that i found ages ago oh jesus so i had to give it a bash anna from frozen three pounds 95 paid not worth as much as i thought it would be maybe 15 18 pound might be able to push a little bit more now christmas is approaching to be fair so i might either hold off on that or list it with christmas prices 18 pound jojo's bizarre adventure golden wind cushion paid two pounds fifty for it don't really know if there's any value in it i really thought there might be i'm not sure if it's a fan-made thing or what but i bought it anyway because jojo's bizarre adventure stuff seems to disappear fly out the door quick so i picked it up hoping 20 quid might be more might be less male and female pair of brass pheasants paid nine pounds 95 for these because i remember seeing them somewhere it was either someone's video or antiques road show or something like that i remember seeing them so i was like i'm not going to research i am just going to buy them but something told me to pick them up i've seen these listed and sold for upwards of 80 to 90 pound so that's fantastic i did pay a tenner but hopefully hopefully we can push the 60 to 70 pound marks that'll be fantastic yeah really really cool nice i really like them i must be getting old <laughs> Now, this next thing you would have seen on the video, I actually knew that I couldn't sell these when I bought them, but I had to buy them anyway because they have a little bit of a legendary status in the reselling game. That is lawn darts. Lawn darts. I can't sell these. These are illegal to sell. So as far as I'm aware, these lawn darts, the spike version, were banned ages ago. Ages and ages ago. And then they obviously bought out a non-spiked version. Yeah. Uh, just like a flathead so they obviously brought out a flathead version of the game without a spike on it because people was obviously getting spiked through the head in the 80s and 90s well in 2020 i believe this article said they banned these as well they did a recall on the crown lawn darts with these flat heads due to risk of cracking your skull everything's got a risk of cracking your skull really in it I'm going to divide the seas again, but I think the nation at the moment is so soft, so soft. I understand you can crack your head throwing these darts. If you've got kids in the garden and stuff, I understand it. But you could do that with a baseball bat. You could do that with a baseball. You know, anything that involves playing with something that is thrown and has a solid texture, you could crack a skull with it. Just a little bit of common sense. Anyway, I'm... Whatever. My views on the softness of our children today is irrelevant but i had to buy them even though they are banned and i cannot sell them i had to buy them maybe i'll just have them as a background piece no i won't because i've just bought the shelf which needs to go up actually 
It's going to take over my background space. I need to get that put up anyway. So unless anybody wants to buy those crown darts off Instagram, please do reach out. I'm happy to sell them to you there. Just going to jump in here. I've been doing a little bit of research on these lawn darts, jarts, things. And I still can't actually tell if they're illegal to sell even not on eBay. Like outside of eBay, just in general. There are some articles talking about the newer updated versions without the spike are okay to sell. And some that are saying they can't. And I just, I just don't know. Maybe I'm stuck with them. I've been stuck with way worse. And these coasters, 30 years of Hollywood American restaurant with Coco, the symbol over them, from Foster's Bar. One pound paid, no idea on value. It's got to be a tenner. I thought they were cool regardless. And I know some of you lot collect Coca-Cola and stuff on here, so reach out if you want them. Instagram link is in the description down below. So yeah, come for me about the charity shops. I don't mind. My opinion won't change. The majority of charity shops now are there for profiting big organisations, big salaried people, and they're not there to help the people anymore. They're not. That's just the way it's gone now. Move on. There is still bargains to be found, but you can't rely on them. You shouldn't be relying on them anyway. Well, I'm going to get this shelf put up because I really can't be bothered. Emma's came home from work today because she's poorly as well. So she's come home. Let's get this shelf up. So the shelf is going to go just there next to this one, which means it's going to take over my little spot just there. Ooh. But needs must. Needs must. We're growing, baby. Beautiful. Now we have an extra set of shelving to fill up with whatever. Packing materials, stock, whatever else. We need it. Lovely having a nice background for YouTube. However, this is more important. Without this, there is no YouTube. Speaking of without this, there is no YouTube. This must be done and this being eBay. So I'm going to crack on and do some work. Before I disappear, I want to say a big thank you to William. He picked up those Halloween heads from me. So thank you very much, William. I appreciate that. Adam over at the Flip Room, he bought the Disney Cars wheel for his son, apparently. He's definitely going to be using that on Mario Kart. So thank you, mate. I appreciate that. Big thank you to Tristian. He picked up some motorcycle gear and a spine from me for about £125 all in. Done him a good deal. He actually came to the unit and had a little snoop around. You'd be surprised to see the state of it now. Shelves up, by the way. It's already in use. And also, better late than never, a big thank you again to Four Marks. He picked up a umbrella. I told him he can have it for free. Just send me the postage. But he insisted on paying me £20 for it and said that I must buy something for Ada, which I will. In fact, I probably already have. So thank you very much, guys. I appreciate your sales. Thank you so much for joining me. As always, I appreciate your time. Please like the video on the way out and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Right, what's first? What's first?